What's up, plant family? Devin is here. I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how I like to stake up my tomatoes. So I just transplanted my tomato. This is the Patio Choice yellow cherry tomato, yellow, cute little uh, yellow cherry tomatoes. It was in this small little four inch pot, transplanted it, and I was about to stake it up and thought, all right, this is a great opportunity. I'll show you guys how I like to actually stake them up. Um, so before we do that, want a quick little thing, you know, always remember that when you're transplanting your tomatoes from uh, a small container like this to this, a couple things to keep in mind, always make sure that they're nice and root bound in here before you transplant it. That helps um, make the most efficient transplanting. But also, uh, you know, wherever that original soil line was in this first plant, you're actually going to want to plant them about an inch deeper so that you're covering about an extra inch of these stems with soil. Um, those old little nodes that you have just buried are now going to help root it in even better and create a more, uh, basically a stronger stemmed plant. Okay, so I have it transplanted. Before we do it, you always wanna make sure water in that fresh transplant. And it's also gonna be important to do this because it will help with our staking. So give it a nice little watering, um, ensure that all of the soil is really perfectly moist. Okay, now this Patio Choice yellow tomato is a plant that grows about 18 inches or so. It's not very tall, um, perfect for patios, perfect for containers on the patio. And so, I say 18 inches because you wanna make sure your stakes are going to be at least 18 inches, but giving an extra like six inches of like head space is great. So these stakes should protrude, um, let's see, that's gonna be, I don't know, about two feet, about 24 inches from that top of that soil line. So that 18 inches goes from the top of the soil, 18 inches up. So I want about 24 inches above that soil line is how tall my stakes should be. Okay, so now that we have it nicely watered in, um, I have my four stakes. I had two stakes that were smaller. I just taped them together so that I could create one sturdy, one long sturdy stake. I'm gonna just put one at each corner. It's close, or just along the edge of the container, okay? I'm gonna turn it around so we can see. I'm gonna get a nice long piece of this green twine. This can be very helpful if you have someone to help you do this. Honestly, four hands are much better than two, but I don't have that right now. Maybe I will. Okay, so we take our twine, we'll do a whole 360 degree loop around the stake, just like that. And we're gonna tie a knot. Then we'll go around to the next stake. We'll do a whole loop all the way around, just like I was showing you. And move on. This is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. So you wanna just use, try to make the string as tight as possible to keep it upright. That's the hard part. Okay, making sure you go all the way around those stakes is critical. And you'll probably find that as you move your way up, the string at the base does become a little bit weak or a little bit loose. So it can be a good idea to do a second layer at the, at the kind of like the bottom most six inches or so. You wanna get these tomatoes as upright as possible, unless it's a, a trailing variety, of course, which there are some really nice trailing varieties of cherry tomatoes out there right now. And then once you get to the end of that string, just do like how we started, you could wrap all the way around and you make your knot.
All right, so it's really that easy. Um, you know, you can give it some extra support, extra string if you find that they're not as strong as you'd like them to be. Um, but this should do the trick. And you will definitely wanna keep an eye on your plant as it continues to grow. Make sure it's not kind of getting, um, its growth isn't getting impeded by that string, making sure it's allowed to grow upright is the key. And if you're looking for a video on how to, um, how to remove suckers, how to look for suckers and remove those, you can find that video link right there. But otherwise, from here, we're just gonna take care of it like we would any of our other plants, making sure it never dries out for too long and also that it doesn't stay too sopping wet for too long either. And we are going to pick these beautiful yellow cherry tomatoes as they start to ripen. Anyways, thanks for visit visiting me here at Plant Vibrations with me, Devin Waleen. Um, stay tuned as we are providing new fresh plant content every single week. If you have any comments, make sure to leave a comment below. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, your own experiences, things you'd like to share with this plant community, make sure to leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching me here on Plant Vibrations. Ciao.